couple of minutes there'll be like um yep in a couple of minutes it'll be like 20 to 8 in the evening pm here in uh, the uk it's still quite bright outside out bright outside sorry i just oh god that was a s i just nearly had a stroke trying to say that sentence um and also new microphone and uh, because uh, one, well, for two reasons. One, I I was gonna hopefully get a new microphone, so um, this reaction video will be a good test run, and I do hope that for you, for you lot watching watching from where wherever you are, the sound quality is good enough, and um, and uh, and I've retired my uh, blue snowball microphone, which has been been my main microphone since I started this channel which was like four or five years ago and um, and uh, and another reason why I'm also re uh, retiring the blue snowball is because um, I've been having some driver errors recently that's why my uploads have slowed right down so hopefully now I'm starting to get on track and um, so yeah, I apologize if the brightness from the daylight coming in from the window is um is not ideal. I hope it's not affecting if you can see my reaction well enough. And uh oh and I also should add I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background because it is getting quite quite warm now. Anyway, so um so today now that I got that side note out of the way uh, tonight I am reacting to Battle of Nagashino 1575 Oda Nobunaga documentary by Kings and Generals. Now, um, if you haven't seen the last, if you haven't seen my reaction to, um, The Rise of Obu Nobunaga, which is the first episode of this series, obviously, I suggest you check that one out before checking this one out. And, um... And the usual disclaimer when I react to historical content, um, for those who who are new here and or don't remember, if I if I don't show so much what is considered a proper reaction, it is probably obvious that I don't know much about the subject at hand. And if I do know anything, I'll most likely pause the video to give my input or ask any curious questions. Which hopefully will be answered in the comments. With that being said, the link to the original video will be in the description down below. Please go and subscribe to Kings and Generals. One, still one of the uh, one of the best um, uh, history channels here on YouTube among among a fair few of them. But this is one of the best ones to watch, along with uh, History March, Epic History, and House of History. So, Kings and Generals, House of History, Epic History, and History March, to me, are... Yeah, sorry, I'll, for some reason I lost count. Yeah, those are the top, in my opinion, the top four history channels here on YouTube. I've, I don't usually add that little side note in, but I thought for this one I might. So, um, yeah original link for the the link for the original video in the description down below i said everything else all right let's get this up on screen and um subtitles on because i've been doing that i've been doing that for almost every historical video lately and uh let's get into this oops turn out that a bit in the previous video we saw Oda Nobunaga yeah. rising from a minor warlord to the most powerful man in central Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the term lord in Japan daimyo? 
daimyo or daimyu. Feel free to correct me in the comments about that. But his wars to unify Japan were far mm. from over, and the demon king of Owari would continue to fight his foes in every cardinal direction until the fateful day of June, when he was betrayed by his subordinate Ikechi Mitsuhide. Wow. Do you want to command the armies of Oda Nobunaga? The sponsor of this video is a game called Yaski, Black Reporters, and this indie developer. Wish list the game in the Apple Store and Google Play Store that. via the link Feel in the description. See you on interested. the battlefields. With Nagamasa dead and two of the most powerful clans now eradicated, mm. Nobunaga found some time to devote to his new hobby. This was Chanuyu, the Japanese art of the tea ceremony, and the Oda Dam. Me being British, tea? I perk right up then would express mm. the same zeal in this field as wow. he did on the battlefield. He soon started a treasure hunt for the three legendary tea caddies, collectively known as the Narashiba Katatsuki. And the three most precious tea caddies were in were the Hatsuhana, Nita, and Narashiba. Oh, and I do apologize in advance for any butchering. I hope I pronounce those right. The Katasuki legend said that whoever owned all of them would own all of Japan. Nobunaga owned at some point the first two, but never managed to get the third. Wow. And although he acquired two of them, he never managed to collect mm. all three. It was around this time, too, that the Lord of Owari essentially forced the Emperor to acknowledge his status by asking for a piece of the aromatic wood known as Renjitai. The log was kept under imperial seal, and even past shoguns had been refused such a gift. Mm. But where others had failed, Nobunaga succeeded, and thus his status as the most powerful man in Japan was reaffirmed. Yet mm. Nobunaga had still to tie up some loose ends, especially those with the Ikoiki of Ishiyama Hongenji and Nagashima. Wow. So in the following year, he once more campaigned against the monks of Nagashima, you got Oda's faction, Esuge, Mori, Ikoigi, Miyoshi, Tokugawa, Hojo, and Takeda. Wow, I'm sorry if I butchered any of the, any of the pronunciations there. Marking this as the third and mm. the last time he laid siege to the Iki stronghold. Unlike his previous attempts, this time Nobunaga would be successful. Mm. As he had done in Enrekyuji, so too Nobunaga set a fire that engulfed the entire fortress wow. complex. For the besieged Iki, there was no escape, and some mm. 20,000 men, women and children are thought to have wow. perished in the ensuing inferno. The Iki monks Nobunaga fought were renowned throughout Japan for their mastery over firearms. It was their deadly accuracy with the arquebus, or tepo as it was called, that ruined the odor assaults on their strongholds. Mm. Yet Nobunaga was no stranger to the deadly new weapon that had arrived with the Portuguese, mm. and in the next year he would elevate himself above the monks as the true master of firearms. Nobunaga's second greatest triumph came in 1575, when Takeda Shingen's son, Katsuyori, felt confident enough to challenge the Oda Tokugawa alliance again. Katsuyori had probed the defenses of both clans in the previous years with mixed results, but this time he had a hidden ace, a traitor mm. by the name of Ogasawara Yohachiro. Yohachiro was the governor of Tekatenjin Castle and had risen rapidly in the past years from a common vassal to becoming Ieyasu's exchequer. Ambitious and lusting for more power, he was now offering Katsuyuri to ride to Okazaki, a castle with great strategic importance, and to open its gates for the advancing Takeda army. However, this plot was discovered by Ieyasu, who was quick to punish the traitor with a gruesome death. Wow. When Katsuyuri found out that his plans for Okazaki had fallen through, he redirected his army and on the 16th of June, laid siege to the castle of Nagashino mm. and its 500 defenders, led by Okudaira Setamasa. With each day passing, Katsuyuri's grip around the fortress tightened, and the situation for the besieged garrison grew more and more dire. Thus, on the 22nd, Tori Sunemon, 
volunteered to pass through the Takeda forces and deliver a message to Ieyasu in Okazaki, asking for reinforcements. Tsuneyamon's feat would become one of the most celebrated legends of the Sengoku Jidai. Messengers had been sent before the blockade began, but since the defenders at Nagashino had received no reply, they were unaware that both Ieyasu and Nobunaga were planning to march and relieve the castle. At midnight on the 23rd, the brave Tsuneyamon left the castle, climbed down the hill and jumped into the river. He swam down the Toyokawa, cutting the nets the Takata had strung across it, and made his way to Mount Gambo. At the dawn of the 24th, he lit a beacon, signalling the garrison of his success, and then headed towards Okazeki, mm. where he received praises for his brave deed mm. and affirmations that the combined Oda Tokugawa forces would move out the next day. On his return, however, Tsunemon was captured by Takeda troops and was brought before Katsuyuri, who listened to Tsunemon's story and was informed that a relief force was coming. Katsuyuri, perhaps in an attempt to undermine the psychology of the defenders and force the castle's surrender, offered Tsunemon his life and service in the Takeda army. In exchange, the captured samurai would have to address the castle's garrison and announce that there was no army coming to lift the siege. Tsunemon pretended to agree to this, but when the moment came, he shouted that help was on the way and that wow. they should hold until then. For this act of loyalty and self-sacrifice, Tsunemon was crucified alive while his former wow. comrades watched from the castle walls. Knowing that a relief force was on its way, and with the castle still not in his hands, Ketsuyuri summoned a war council. While the senior and more experienced Takeda officers like Baba Nobuhara opted for a retreat towards Kai, the younger generation was thirsty for battle. Mm. Katsuyuri sided with the younger officers, not knowing that his decision that wow. day would doom the Takeda clan. <laughs> Staying true to their promise, Nobunaga and Ieyasu arrived on the evening of the 27th, six miles west of Negashino at Shidahara with a combined force of 38,000 men. They quickly took up positions on the ridge line behind a small stream called Rengogagawa as a countermeasure to the feared Takeda cavalry. Seeking to provide further protection for his arquebusiers, Nobunaga ordered the construction of a palisade with a few gaps here and there so as to allow possible counterattacks. His plan was to use rotating volleys of arquebus fire to decimate the Takeda's famed cavalry charge. While yeah, arquebusers or muskets, these new firearms brought to Japan by the Portuguese sailors, because the rate of fire was the reload times were brand new. It's not like modern guns where you can just pull the trigger and keep and shoot another. Because you literally, for those who don't know, it's basically the same thing as a smoothbore musket basically and where you have to actually put down the gun put a ball in some gunpowder cartridge ramrod it down and then and then fire aim and fire and and i'm guessing these uh these firearms are smoothbore so they're not that accurate further than 80 yards Not like rifles that we that you have in later years, where they have um, spiral grooves in the barrel that spins the bullet, just to keep it more in line. Like during the Napoleonic Wars, um, the best example is the is the ninety fifth rifle, the British ninety fifth ri rifles. Who, um, but the only difference is the rifles that they're slower to load, but much more accurate beyond. 400 yards or more but I'm guessing because this is a first generation firearm it's going to be smooth bore while his spearmen would protect the missile troops mm. on the dawn of the 28th the allied battle line stood as follows the extreme right flank of the Tokugawa army mm. was secured by 1000 men led by Okubo Tadio his position was the only one not covered by the fence but instead was only protected by some trees. Next to him were Osuka Yasutaka and Sakakibara Yasumasa, each in charge of 1,000 men as well. 
Next in line was the warrior who surpassed death itself, the famous Honda Tedeketsu, who was leading a similarly sized regiment, while behind him stood his daimyo, Tokugawa Ieyasu, with 2,000 men. On the left flank of the Tokugawa forces, close to the center of the overall line, were Ishikawa Kazamasa and Tori Motatada, with 1,800 respectively, while behind them was Ieyasu's son, Nobuyasu, in command of 1,000 soldiers. Next to Torii stood the first Oda contingent under Takigawa Kazumesu. On his left, occupying the center of the Oda forces, was Nobunaga's star general, Hashiba Hideyoshi, who had the honor of guarding his lord, who had placed his headquarters behind him. Next along were Niwe Nagihide and Mizuno Nobumoto, while the rear was supported by Sakuma Nobumori. Mm. On the other side of the Rengugawa, Katsuyuri split his army into five divisions, each numbering 3,000 men. One was left to continue the siege on the castle, and another would serve as reserves under his personal command. On the right flank was Baba Nobuharu, in the center was Naito Masatoyo, and Yamagata Masakage was on the left flank. At around 6 am, the Takeda cavalry charged towards the entrenched Allied positions, Masakage's contingent being the first to make contact, with the other generals following suit. Yet every attack had the same bloody fate, as Nobunaga's gunners mowed down Japan's finest cavalry with alternating volleys, though some modern scholars dispute this and argue that the Oda arquebusiers discharged their guns en masse instead. Those who escaped the bullets found themselves against a hail of blades from Oda and Tokugawa spearmen. On the Takeda right flank, Baba Nobuharu had made some progress mm but was then met by a detachment led by Shibata Katsuye and Hashiba Hideyoshi. While the fight raged on the banks of the Rengogawa River, wow. Sekai Tadatsugu with 3,500 men attacked the Takeda forces who were still at Nagashino. Mm. They had secretly moved during the night and approached the besiegers from the rear. Watching Tadatsugu's assault from the walls of Nagashino, Okodaira Sedamasa gave the order for the garrison to sally out, wow. and despite being weakened from hunger and illness, they inflicted great damage to the mm. Takeda troops. Back at Shidarahara, Katsuyuri decided to fully commit, ordering a general attack and throwing in the last of his mm. reserves. Yet even these fresh troops weren't able to dislodge the Oda Ashigaru from their defenses. The bloody struggle between the two forces continued until one hour after noon, when Nobunaga gave the order for the Oda troops to fall back on the fences. This was the opportunity the battered Takeda soldiers waited for and retreated on the road back towards Kai. Seeing this action, Nobunaga changed his orders, now shouting to his men to pursue their opponents. Mm. This they did, slaughtering and wow. capturing many of the Takeda, some of which were prominent samurai. In total, wow. around 10,000 heads were taken that day mm. by the Oda men. Among the dead were some of the most notable Takeda leaders, like Baba Nabaharu, Naito Masatoyo, the Sanada brothers, and Yamagata Masakage. Hmm. On the Oda Tokugawa side, the dead numbered around 6,000. It was a tactical triumph for Nobunaga, hmm. who showcased the importance of firearms yeah. and fundamentally changed how the samurai armies would conduct future warfare. Hmm. It was also an unparalleled disaster for well, saying that, they would also still keep their archers for a long while because of the rate of fire. Because even though these gun, these firearms are powerful, the rate of fire will still be lower than, than the traditional boat uh, Japanese archers. But if I think in a way, as I said, I'm not an expert, if you combine them, you, um, you can make quite a deadly uh, ranged ranged um divisions but again i'm not an expert on this or so uh feel free to correct me for katsuyuri probably will anyway. who returned to kai with a crippled army mm. and morale he would continue to resist the oda and the tokugawa until 1582 but he would never pose a serious threat to nobunaga again mm. who was now free to focus his gaze mm. elsewhere following this great victory Nobunaga was left with only two potential rivals for hegemony of the island, mm. the Uesugi in the east and the Mori in the west. Mm. He would clash with the first in late 1577, when Uesugi Kenshin conquered Noto province, 
prompting the Oda warlord to gather an army under his best generals and march to Kaga. In the ensuing Battle of Tidorigawa, the Dragon of Echigo decisively defeated the larger Oda army, wow. forcing Nobunaga to retreat in a state of panic. But despite mm. Nobunaga's fears, Kenshin wouldn't capitalize on his victory and would die mm. just five months later, most likely due to esophageal cancer, a result of his wow. heavy drinking habit. Nobunaga's attention then turned towards the Mori clan, the rulers of West Honshu. He entrusted this campaign to two of his best generals, Hashiba Hideyoshi, who would take the southern route, and Akechi Mitsuhide, who would take the northern approach. Unlike the war with the Takeda, it became evident that this would not be decided in the outcome of a single battle, and that it would be a long, protracted conflict as the Mori and their allies were equally strong and mounted stiff resistance against the Oda. However, in 1580, Nobunaga was able to deprive Mori of one of their allies by subduing one of his greatest enemies, the Iki of Ishiyama Hongenji. The following year would have him fighting another bloody war against another Iki, that of Iga province. The peasant warriors of Iga were masters of guerrilla warfare and espionage, and their skill inspired many ninja myths. They had already repulsed a previous Oda invasion in 1579, led by Nobunaga's second son, Nobukatsu. This time, however, Nobunaga would personally lead his armies, which invaded from six different routes, and by early November, the province would become a part of the Oda domain. Mm -hmm. By 1582, Nobunaga was at the height of his power. The Takeda clan had been virtually destroyed after their defeat in Tenmokuzen and the subsequent death of Katsuyuri and his family. The rival clans that still remained in Honshu were also weakened by this point. Hmm. Mori Motonari, Uesugi Kenshin, and Hojo Ujiesu had passed away, leaving no heir of their caliber behind, as such is often the tragedy of great leaders. Hmm. Nobunaga, knowing that this was his chance to push for a complete subjugation of the island, decided to send his trusted generals to conquer every corner of Japan, to bring every province under the quince emblem of the Oda. Hmm. Shibata Katsuye was sent to invade Echigo, Niwa Nagahide was undertaking preparations for the invasion of Shikoku, Takigawa Kazumasu was on guard against a possible attack from the Hojo, while the star of the Oda army, Hashiba Hideyoshi, mm. was continuing his campaign against the Mori in Chugoku. Hideyoshi, in his usual fashion, had made significant progress until he reached Takamatsu Castle, mm. at which point he called Nobunaga for reinforcements. Mm. Just a few days prior, Nobunaga had been entertaining his ally, Tokugawa Ieyasu, in Azuchi Castle. After spending several days with Nobunaga, Ieyasu and his entourage had departed to continue their tour of Kansai, while Nobunaga received Hideyoshi's request for aid. In late June, and after urgently gathering his personal guard, Nobunaga left the safety of Azuchi and rode to Kyoto, accompanied by his eldest son and heir, Nobutada. With him was also his African bodyguard, Yasuke. Right. The young man had first arrived in Japan in 1579, and met with the Oda warlord in Kyoto in 1581. Impressed by the man's physical strength mm. and his color, which had caused quite the sensation amongst the citizens of the capital, Nobunaga took him into his service. Now, I have heard of this legend before. I think I've seen a video on it about Yasuke the first the uh, first black samurai. It's a, sh it's a shame. It's a shame that Oda Nobunaga's um, rival didn't see him as, as an as a human. It's a shame. But Nobunaga saw him as an an extraordinary human being, and took him under his service. But. Because, from what I know, I'm not going to spoil the rest of the story, so... He even made him a samurai, as well as his weapons bearer, and was the one to give him his Japanese name. Hmm. When Nobunaga and his small party reached Kyoto, he decided to stop and spend the night at Honoji Temple, which was his favorite place to take lodgings whenever he visited the capital. However, the majority of his troops, as well as his son, were billeted in a separate location. Hmm. Meanwhile, in the nearby Sakamoto Castle, Nobunaga's general, Akechi Mitsuhide, had gathered his forces in order to assist Hideyoshi, 
as he had been commanded by his lord earlier. On the afternoon of the 20th of June, he departed from Sakamoto and led his troops as far as the Katsura River. Mm. There he ordered his men to halt and addressed them with one phrase that would change the fate of Japan forever. The enemy is at Honoji, he wow. proclaimed, and with that he turned his army around and marched towards Kyoto and the unsuspecting Nobunaga. Hang on. <clears throat> The reason of this betrayal is still unknown, however, there are many theories of this incident such as conspiracy by Nobunaga's generals, personal revenge, and, min and manipulation, but these theories are conflicted. At Oops. He turned his army around and marched wow. towards Kyoto and the unsuspecting wow. Nobunaga. Before the sun had risen, Mitsuhide's men, under the command of his son-in-law, stormed the temple where Nobunaga was residing. The Oda Daimyo had just woken up when he heard the commotion resulting from the fighting between his few guardsmen and the endless tide of Akechi troops. Mm. Emerging half naked and bow in hand from his chamber, Nobunaga killed several of his would be assassins until the strain snapped. He continued to fight by picking up either a Yari or a Naginata until he received an arrow wound on his thigh. Mm. Realizing there was no escaping the inevitable end, Nobunaga ordered his young page, Mori Ranmaru, to set the temple ablaze to prevent the enemy from recovering his head, and then retreated into a secluded spot inside the temple. There, attended by Ranmaru, who would act as his kaishekunin, the man who would cut off his head, Nobunaga drew his short sword and committed seppuku. Wow. His young protege also ended his life in a similar way, while his brothers Bonmaru and Rikimaru, who also served as Nobunaga's attendants, died fighting. Another figure that also likely perished in the flames of Honoji was Nobunaga's mm. first wife, Nohime. According to legend, she died while fighting off the attackers with her Naginata, but mm. there are also theories that she somehow managed to escape. Among those who fought loyally to protect their master's life was Yasuke. However, with Nobunaga's fate sealed, the African samurai had no choice but to escape the burning temple and wow. make his way to Nijo Gosho where Nobutada had made his quarters and was under attack by Akechi's men as well. Here too, wow. Yasuke fought like a lion, but once again his enemies were simply too many. He was thus captured and brought before Mitsuhide, who scornfully remarked that the man was a beast who was undeserving of the rank of samurai, wow. and therefore not to be killed. It is possible that Akechi's harsh words did not reflect his true feelings towards Yasuke, and instead he sought to spare the man's life by insulting him in such a way. Wow. Following this, Nobunaga's former didn't... African page was returned to the custody of the Jesuits who had brought him to Japan, hmm. and from then on he vanished from history. Wow. Nobutada, like his father, was also forced to commit seppuku rather than accept the shame of surrendering. Hmm. In just one fateful night, Akechi Mitsuhide wow. had managed to deliver a devastating blow to the entire Oda clan and threatened to undo everything Nobunaga had achieved by that point. That same day, he marched from Kyoto to Izuchi, but he was unable to find the remaining Oda family members who had already fled. Mm. He was content with looting the treasures Nobunaga had collected there, wow. and in the aftermath, the mighty fortress was burned to the ground with sources attributing this cultural tragedy to various culprits. Nobunaga's death threatened to plunge the country back into the mm. absolute chaos of the previous decades. Wow. However, Hashiba Hideyoshi was quick to realize this was the chance he needed to assert his hegemony over the rest of the Oda vassals, wow. and the race to become the one to defeat the traitorous Mitsuhide was about to begin. More videos on the history of Japan are on the way, so make sure you are subscribed and have pressed the bell button to see them. Please consider liking, commenting and sharing, it helps immensely. Our videos would be impossible without wow. our kind patrons and YouTube channel members, whose ranks you can join. Yeah, okay, thank you. And that'll do it. Wow, that is such a... Wow. Such such a harsh way to be betrayed by an by someone so loyal <clears throat> wow you think if if 
it's hard to theor it might be easy to theorize that oh, that Oda Nobunaga might have unified Japan but then but then betrayed by his mo one of his most loyal allies. Sorry, it's gone a bit dark now because the sun's definitely going down now. And uh, sorry if I'm if I'm disappearing into the darkness. So um. So uh, anyway, if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.